What's up? Hey guys, welcome back to Crypto Mischief. Richie here with yet another video on cryptocurrency. Today we're on the Binance Smart Chain and we're looking at 1000 blocks space. This is actually a project that I did a video on about three months ago, I think. Let me have a look. Yeah, here. Three months ago, a fractional NFT that earns yield, NFT mania on the BSC. So this is a bit of an update video on what 1000 Blocks has been doing since that video, because let me tell you something, they've done a lot. Um, I've been staking on this platform and since that time for three months, basically, with the BLS token. Uh, I think it's been doing pretty well. Uh, the tables, this token has been extremely stable, actually, which is fantastic. And they're just adding more and more fun onto this platform. So today we're gonna have a look through four different things which are happening right now in this platform, which I'm really bullish on. The first one is the release of their NFTs called Alberts. Let's have a look at that. So the Alberts are coming out before Christmas. These are monkey based NFTs, which are going to have a use case and a utility. They are smart NFTs, not as smart as me, but pretty smart. <laughs> and you're going to be able to get on a whitelist for these. They're coming out before Christmas. It's the December 16th as of making this. So that is within the next nine days, these are gonna be able to be minted. To get on the whitelist, you get into the link in my description for this, right? And we'll go link join to the whitelist. Okay, then simply you then add in your Binance Smart Chain wallet address by going to your MetaMask or your Trust Wallet, clicking that, yeah, and pasting that in. Then you will be able to get into the whitelist. So the reason you wanna get on a whitelist for anything, especially an NFT mint, is that you're gonna get the cheapest prices on these smart NFTs. Smart NFTs, can be pretty valuable, okay? So I'm hoping to get myself some Alberts. Uh, I would really love to, because this is one platform that I do like to support quite a lot, the old 1000 block space guys. The second bullish thing I want to mention is that their yield farming is now open. Before, let me just show you um, the first space, okay, that I joined three months ago. Let's launch the DAP. Okay, this is cool. You're gonna be, your mind's gonna be blown here, okay? Right, so here we have rewards pools, space vault, space farm, and yield. If I connect my wallet, I'm gonna find what's going on. So I have some BLS staked here. I have 15,610 BLS staked. Now I get rewarded this BLS every single second because you can see that from here, okay? Look at this ticker, right? This BLS is just continuing to grow here, right? And I'm also getting BNB. The BNB is coming from my BLS staking. The BNB rewards are received from staking of my BLS token here. So by staking my BLS, I'm just getting continuously this BNB coming up. I get about 0.1 to 0.2 BNB per month for this staking of my BLS token. So here we do have space one, space two, and two more community style spaces that we're gonna have a look after, okay? So first checking on space one, this is the initial original space that was created when the whole platform was launched, okay? And uh, this is a NFT wall. Can you see me? Can you see me? Here I am down here, right? So I, I, I sneaked this one in, right? In here, it's been in here for about two months. I paid, how much did I pay? Yeah, I paid about 1.5 BNB for all of these. You can see the prices of them here. I paid 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3. So yeah, about 1.2 BNB for this part of the of the NFT board. And that's what's earning me my BLS token there, just staking there, hidden away there at the very bottom, just getting by, making me some bank. <laughs> it's passive income, but in a fun way. So by minting NFTs on this board, you can mint anywhere you want. You can then gain passively tokens for that, right? You can get quite big blocks actually. You could go as big as 42 blocks is the maximum amount of blocks. Of course, if I wanted to do that, I'd have to pay about four BNB for covering all of these blocks. So that's space one. Cover the blocks with your NFT, earn BLS token, take the BLS token, put it into the space vault, and from your space vault, earn passively BNB. That's exactly what I was doing and it's been going very well. But now they've opened space two. Ooh, so today actually I'm gonna be going into space two and I'm gonna be trying this one out too because I've had a great time with space one, why not try it? So space two has its own mechanics and through those mechanics, it increases the utility of the BLS token and ensures a steady burn rate. Yields and gamification are included as normal with this platform. It's all about gamification, but most importantly, it introduces a multi-space setup, which is the foundation of scaling 1000 block space beyond that, just the original board that I showed you, they're now scaling out to have lots of different spaces. Like a metaverse, hey? So space two is all about 
Infinite Burn. That's the theme of it there. You can see the sun there for Infinite Burn. Space 2's code name feels familiar, but still so very different, with the objective to make the second space more affordable to a broader audience, but also give additional utility to our beloved BLS token, and still keep everything fun and rewarding. We came up with a whole new game dynamic. Here is what you will encounter in Space 2. Before claiming a block though, you can the same, you can claim a maximum of 42 blocks for one block space. A space ape, like me or you, can cover those blocks with a picture of my choice. You can claim these blocks unlimited times, but there is a minimum of 24 minutes between each claim. To claim a block, there will be a fixed fee of 0.004 BNB, about $2, I think. If it's an empty block or someone already claimed it, it stays the same, 0.004 takeover when we take over a block i'm going to be taking over some blocks because i want to grab some of this space here i'm going to be taking over i'm going to show you how to do it okay if a block or blocks are already have previous owner and is covered a takeover fee does apply the takeover fee is to be paid in bls token that's right no more playing the game without any bls the takeover fee is dynamic depending on the time Yes, not the previous owner of the block like it was before. On the old space, if someone wants to take my block, they just simply pay more for it in BNB than I paid and they get the block. But for this, we're dealing with it in a completely different way. Okay, it's dynamic on time. It will start at 240 BLS token per block and decrease every second until it hits zero BLS after 24 hours. So for over it begins so the first day i'm going to take this is going to be 240 bls the cost to take over then it's going to go down to zero in one day once the takeover fee of a block is zero it will stay at zero bls for one hour giving someone the chance to take it for free after one hour the takeover fee will bounce to two bls per block okay my claim fee here is 0.01 bnb because it's four blocks each block is worth 0.004 okay and then my takeover cost is going to be 8 BLS. So I want to get some BLS token first to be able to do this because all my BLS, as you can see, is in staking. So I'll just take a little bit. See, $19 will get me more than enough. That's 412 BLS for that $19. I'll leave all the links in the description for you if you do want to purchase this token. By the way, this is not financial advice. I'm just showing you something I'm extremely interested in. Okay, I thought you might like the look of this one. So I'm going to approve that. Oh wait, maybe I need to first put in my picture. For this one, I'm going to take the picture of my shill telegram channel. That's right, I have a shill telegram channel where you can know about all, you can basically advertise anything you want in there. And you know, all, all things go, any links are allowed. Um, so I'm going to put that one there and advertise that because it's a good way of advertising, right? We want to put a link, so I'm going to link my shill channel on that, right? Take the link, caption link there. And then that's that one, good to go. Take over cost, approve. We're collecting the bits. We're tightening the screws. We're rolling the blocks. I'm going to get it. Okay, and the blocks are now on the blockchains. So because I've grabbed that now, I will start to get my space rewards in more BLS token. I will then take that BLS token too. I will get out of here now, right? So here I am, I've claimed that. So now for, for one day, this will be ticking down the amount of BLS someone's going to have to pay to take this block. So the cheapest price to purchase these blocks is when, the, after 24 hours, all of them going up, which means that everyone kind of does get a chance to get a little bit of um, earning some yield, getting some BLS token in, in reward. And pretty good, actually. I've already earned 0.04 BLS for that. So now that I do have this NFT sitting here in space too, let me tell you something else. So every 24 hours, there is a draw made on the Twitter for 1,000 blocks. This is their Twitter. I advise you get into it where they do choose a winner, which, and the winner does win 2,400 BLS daily, right? Anyone who's minted and claimed a space, taken over a space, put an NFT onto space two, or gets into the draw to win 2,400 BLS daily. That is, yeah, about a hundred bucks. At the moment, should be more. I think it will be worth more. Um, so that's another reason. You could just win a nice little bit of BLS token and then continue to compound it into the platform earning more passive income. This is a great passive income tap. Then I do get BLS now from space one and space two. What do I do with it, right? I can put it in the space vault, like I said, but here we can also have a look at space farm. That's right. <laughs> space farm is a pretty good idea. And they use the idea of pairing up BLS with BUSD. What that does, as opposed to pairing it up with BNB, is that it creates more stability and it doesn't pair BLS so much to the price of BNB and BUSD. BUSD, of course, is a stable coin. So it will actually stabilize the price of BLS in, in the long term. Provide liquidity in this pair and get rewarded two times. Fees from swaps 
and BLS tokens from staking. I paired this on PancakeSwap. So this would be the yield farming here. Yield farming is a way for people to generate passive income by providing liquidity into the platform. In short, you lock up your money into a participating DeFi app and in exchange for its service, the project automatically pays those users in crypto rewards over time. I'm staking it to earn more BLS, by the way. So by staking, I will start to see more BLS building in this pool here in my yield pool. So I'm getting BLS rewards from not only from my space one over here, 365 here. I also have 303 here from my yield farming. And then from space two now, I'm also getting BLS. So at the moment now I'm earning this BLS token in three fronts. So what, how to get into farm, for example, what I like to do with a, a lot of farming, especially with some, with a platform that I believe has a very bright future, is that I want to be auto compounding. How to be, how to auto compound in something like this? We would harvest my BLS from the staking so far. So this BLS here, I'll grab that. Okay, I'll come to my space one, and I'll grab that BLS also. Okay, then I need to create BLS um, BUSD liquidity pair. So I could just press on stake and then I will click there on providing liquidity. Then taking that 97, so it'll be about another quarter of what I have added already and staking that in there, which will be increasing the speed at which I'm gaining more BLS. Super compounding that. And basically what I'm doing here is setting down here, enjoying this platform and waiting for the bull market to return. I do think that when the bull market does return, that BLS will take off like a rocket. If we have a look at the chart in terms of the value of the BLS token, if we go on up even 180, right? We're seeing basically it's a continuous uh, bridge between that uh, 50, uh, 5 cents to 7 cents price range, basically on a bit of a decline today. But to be honest, what isn't, okay? What isn't? So this is the three things there that I've told you about. We've had the Albert NFT Mint coming up before Christmas. We have the Space 2 launch, Infinity Burn, which is burning tokens, yet yeah, it's burning a lot of BLS out of circulation, which is really bullish for the price. It's going to take BLS out of circulation, pushing the price up, giving it upward push. And we also have the Space Farm, where you can take your rewards, pair them with BOSD to give the price stability, and, you know, 833 APR is pretty damn good, to be honest. Yeah, that's 2.2% daily. The final thing we're going to talk about today is their exclusive space, which is a new idea which they have launched. So far, two exclusive spaces have launched. The first one, which I'm quite interested in, actually, is X Alpaca. I use Alpaca Finance. Alpaca Finance is an auto compounding service on the Binance Smart Chain. And if we do click on here, it kind of makes me sad because I don't have any Alpies. LP is a NFT from the alpaca um, space. And if I did have one, I'd be able to have a look in this space, but I can't see anything yet. This is a members only space. Your wallet needs to hold at least one NFT LP, but I don't have one. So I could either go get one or not see what's going on. Same with this one too, X NFT mall. This is an exclusive space to gain access, follow NFT mall on Twitter and put and follow 1000 blocks. I am and then put in my Twitter handle and then I will be allowed in here. So that's pretty cool. Okay, I've been approved. Cool, welcome to the NFT small space, rules of the space. One can claim up to 42 blocks, just like the other games. Claiming a block fee is set to 0.0042, the same as space two. Covering blocks, as the owner of blocks, you are able to cover them with an image of your choice. Special prize, top three photos by popular vote split $1,000. Ooh, can choose a nice photo and, you know, show one of your best NFTs and then get in the prize pool to win money. You know, a lot of us just put NFTs up on marketplaces and we, not, we don't sell them. You know, I've got one, link in the description. No one's bought it, <laughs> but maybe I could put it in here and someone might upvote it and then I'll win some actual money for it. The theme is everything and Christmas is the theme for this one. Only Christmas images are eligible for prizes. Let's have a look. So we've got, you know, it's filling up quite well um, with Christmas images. So then you would then take your favorite Christmas image. For example, I quite like this one. And then we can upvote. So I take that one and I'd say, I like it. Okay. I've upvoted it. By me upvoting it, when they call time on this space, not only can they mint the NFT and sell the entire board NFT, right, for profit, but also we can have a look at who's got the most likes and the winners will be chosen from that basically. 
So I've created a Christmas NFT here. I'm just going to save that as a JPEG. Okay. And then I'm going to go back to, and I want to get a piece of that thousand dollars. So I'm going to claim some blocks. Um, let's make a nice big one. Yeah. How much is that going to cost? Okay, so it's going to cost me 0 0.06 BMB. I'm going to go for it. So then take my cover. You can also draw pixel art if you want. Take that caption. I'm going to put in my YouTube channel. So now everyone get into 1000 block space, the X NFT mall and upvote my NFT. And I'm going to get a thousand dollars and then I'm going to airdrop it to you. If I win, if you if I win this, I'm going to airdrop a thousand dollars into my community or whatever I win. If I win anything, I'm going to airdrop it down into my community. Let's uh, do some positive things because it's Christmas time. That's what we should be doing. Get in, like my NFT inside 1000 block space. So this is a great idea because it means that any uh, yield farm, any crypto project, any actual tangible real project can make one of these boards, invite their fans. Yeah, a celebrity you could make one. And then the celebrity would be able to vote for which ones, you know, you could have a board of uh, fans putting their fan art, fan art up for a celebrity. And then they could all say which one the celebrity or influencer could say which one they like the most. Could be for bands, could be for lots of things. Here I am, right? So all you do is go into that one there. Yeah. And you're going to have to say like, I'm going to like my own one because I'm an asshole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you liked. Okay. So that's two spaces which are currently open, the alpaca one and the NFT mall. But wait, there's more just to end this video, right? We have Clam Island. I love Clam Island. I'm still farming away on Clam Island and they're going to have an exclusive space. I'm thinking to use their Clam NFTs to put it onto the and on, onto their NFT board. I do have a lot of Clam NFTs, so that's a fantastic, fantastic news there. We have NFT mall there. The Clam Island one will be coming out on the 16th of December, which is today, okay? So I can't wait to see what is going to go on with that, right? Gamify blockchain investments through the power of yield farming and NFTs. We will talk about the upcoming Clam Island space and much more. If you don't know about Clam Island, just to end this video, right, have a look at this. It's a great project also. I love that NFT space and Clam Island are working together. I have a bunch of clams in my safe. Yep, see, for example, I've got all these pearls here. Um, and I've got some clams here. So this is 1000 block space, guys. It's an amazing platform. Go check it out. Go give them some love. They really deserve it. And just to end, just to remind you about what we're going through here, it was the that the Alberts are coming out before Christmas, the NFTs. If you want to get on the whitelist for minting them, you need to join the whitelist here. Link in the description for that. Also get into space two on this and upvote my NFT. And, you know, try to take me over. I'm going to buy you out. <laughs> okay, everyone, be good to each other. It's Christmas soon. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Don't get wrecked.